Okay, so where did we get to? Let's just bring that a bit closer. Now then, oh, are we? You gonna sit down? Mm, gonna settle down. So can work. Mm. Not helping, you know. Okay, so where do we get to? Um, we've actually done uh, most of what we'd set out to do. Uh, uh, so we do, we do, we done all of this. Uh, yeah, you're in the way, Kenny. Uh, we done all of this, and I think we do, yeah we put it into Docker. So really, we're sort of here, aren't we? Okay, so let's carry on from here. Uh, so we're now in a position where we're going to start setting up the um, uh, yeah, we're going to start setting up the pipeline. So uh, that should still be running. Uh, hello, uh, why can't you be reached? Um, Ah, okay, so they all stopped. Uh, let's just start those again. What was it? Concourse. Do you know what? It's really not easy working around you. Uh, so we start the database. And start on course front end. And now we should. Bingo. Uh, are we just running it with the test users? Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got no, no pipelines. Uh, so we need to create and set up our first pipeline. Uh, so back on here, uh, let's just go to our unprivileged and uh, go up. Uh, <clears throat> let's make a new project. <laughs> Are you going to settle down? <coughs> hey. Looking all pathetic. Oh, the poor boy. Are you going to sit down or what? Are you just going to sit there and get in the way? Come on, settle down. I, what should we call this project? Um, so this is a continuation really of a Pi Builder. Uh, uh, so let's call it Pi Pipe, <laughs> as in the Pi Piper of Pi Piper, Pi Piper. Pi Piper. Mm. Okay. If you don't settle down, you have to get it off and go on the floor, you know. Because you're right, right in the way of the keyboard. Hey. Settle down. Come on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put you on the floor. Okay, come on. I can't, I can't be done with you sitting there, can Oh. I know, I'm a rotten swine. Right, uh, where was I? Oh yes, um, okay, so we've now got this uh, completely fresh start. So let's... Uh, well, it's no good staring at me. <clears throat> if you come up, you've got to lay down. Come on. Come on in. Right. 
Все равно ему. Lay down. It's uncomfortable enough to draw my knee as it is without you sitting there. Because I can't see the keyboard. Uh, and although I can touch type, it's still not straightforward. Hey, come on. Uh, right, so we've got this. Uh, so, uh, okay, so let's take a look at. Uh, how we go about setting up this concourse? Uh, so if we just look at their documentation, uh, we just want a simple pipeline, don't we? So a pipeline consists of jobs. Mm, seems straightforward enough. Can, have we got an example? Mm. Here we go. Uh, now we're going to have to introduce our new resource type. So, so the pipeline is going to be uh, something like. Uh, let me see. So we've got uh, uh, Good enough. Okay. So. Uh, Right. Why isn't that working? That was weird. Hold. Okay, obviously the setup. Life's too short, can you, isn't it? Okay, so. So what we've got is um, uh, so we've got on the one hand, whoa, let's reduce you down to two. Uh, Uh, okay. Um. Okay, so on the one hand, we've got uh, the inputs, which are going to be uh, da 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 da. So this is going to be. Um, Okay, so we got the uh, images, and we also got the uh, scripts that we're going to run in. Okay, and okay. Oh, she's starting to pit me off. I've got no idea. This this thing's just jerking me around today. Okay, so scripts and images. And they're going to feed in. So this one is first of all going to go into process, which is going to be our 
Uh, so this is our uh, what do we call it? U uh, the URI resource, which will be a task. Uh, well, it will be a source. Uh, let's call it get image, and that will produce. Uh, uh, it's one of those days, isn't it? Uh, that will produce an input to our uh, okay so this will be uh, that will go into a process called, which will run our pi patch script which will produce a patched image uh, and the patched image will go into uh, another process which will also take the script as input and this will be our let's call it provision um, a provisioning task and that will produce as its output uh, our final image I guess something along those lines Okay, <clears throat> uh, so the first thing we need to do, uh, let's call it, let's just call it very, un I must be very unimaginative and just call it pipeline for now. Uh, it's going to be a YAML. And uh, we need to define our resource type. Uh, now then, are they defined by resource dash type or resource hyphen type? Uh, resource types is resource underscore type. Okay. Okay, that really isn't helpful. Uh, so resource underscore type. Uh, and it's going to be uh, that's ugly. I must have my indent set. Um, oops. Uh, uh, okay, we definitely need to do some work on that. Uh, was it any soft tab? Uh, four, I thought. I can never remember what these settings are because they're all set up. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Here we go. Basically, I want all that stuff over there, don't I? Uh, and for crying out Um Right, so it is soft tab stop. Uh, oh yeah, let's put it to my usual. So it's two and the shift width is equal to two and expand tab. I'm going to regret this. Like, of course, what, what I could do is I could do the sensible thing and I could just copy all this across, couldn't I? Uh, I 
Oh, let's do that now. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, so what I need to do is uh, right. Uh, I need to do a vagrant. SCP and I want to copy uh, my Vim RC across to my default machine from Vagrant. I'll also need to copy the plugin. Uh, uh, which I think uh, it's just this plugged directory. No. Uh, No, I remember. And now I should be able to do okay. we should be good to go. So all I should need to do now is uh, oh. uh, oh, is it? Plug in store. Right, don't need that. There we go. Right, I'll load all the garbage that I usually use. Admittedly, a lot of this I don't need, but nobody cares. And the most important thing. Ah. Uh, oh, terrific. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh dear. Unless you solve one problem, create third, three others. Command is not available. Oh, the ulti snips man is right. Okay, so um, let's, um, oh, seriously. Uh, right, let's get rid of the ulti snips because I know I use a damn thing anyway. And if it's going to cause me aggravation, no, 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 no. there we go. Right, 
now then. Why is it plugged clean to the layer? Right. Finally, right, okay, so resource type. Mm -hmm. Now we're back to uh, right, resource type. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, You say you are or you are resource, you are right, yeah. And the source is hang on a minute. Um, uh, there's a difference between the name and its type, which is so its type is URI resource and then uh, I'm missing something here aren't I Oh, come on, I need an example. Um, Resource is easy enough. Ah, resource type. Here we go. So, okay, so I need to define. Ah, right, okay. Uh, so I need to say resource types. And then. Uh, right, okay. So. I think I can give it any name I want actually. And it's a uh, now Docker image is the old one, so I think you just call it a registry image name. And the source is much the same, so it's repository and it's Docker. I think Docker IO is actually the default. So let's just try salty labyrinth slash your resource uh, and tag will be the latest. So I'm going to go with that and then go resources so this will be uh, right, so let's call it just pi image uh, and the type will be URI uh, and the source and it's going to be the URI and it will be the URI for 
the raspberry pi image okay so um, what we need is raspberry light at uh, and it's that there Uh, right, so that should be the resource, and All right now we can start defining jobs. So the jobs for this pipeline will be uh, let's call it pipatch. And the plan for pie patch is uh, get uh, and call it pie image uh, and will be true. Um, And then we want the task, which will be oh, actually, I suppose, yeah, I suppose, yeah, we just call by image, and then we want the task. Hmm. I suppose actually the, the task is pi pack, isn't it? Uh, this will be pi build. Okay, so the task is pie patch and <clears throat> oh. Oh. <clears throat> ah, right. So the task is pie patch and <sighs> Now it's more than just. Oh, I see. So we could externalize this. Uh, so we could actually externalize this by saying um, that we're going to run a task which we've just downloaded, I guess. But we're not going to do that. Uh, Okay, so a task which will actually, in this case, it will just run uh, um, uh, Oh, right, okay. Okay, so we can specify a file. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, so how do we define all of this inside a single file? Do we have to write it as a number of files? Uh, Hmm. 
So we've got we've got get and put. Okay. There's a pipeline so we can specify get, put, and tasks. Uh, no, I'm, I'm confusing myself here. Right, all I need so a pipeline is for configuring jobs and resources together. When you configure a pipeline, it takes a lot of time. No, 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 no. Fine. I'm assuming uh, so we do the get uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll come back to all of that those raise all these jobs so, okay so we've got a, a get and we've got a task and we've got input and output mapping right, I'm out from the task input names to concrete names in the build plan. Okay, so which I assume are given by these get names. Uh, fetches a version of the resource, fetches a bit to be written to the build artifact namespace on the given identifier. Uh, yeah, listing it as an input. Right, so. Uh, Task blah blah blah. Okay. Following uh, plants and pulls out a repo, makes a commit to it, and pushes the commit to another repo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dynamic alternative to task step config. Okay, so okay, so we instead of doing uh, okay, so I can just do config. And inside here I can put uh, platform. Oh, that just tells me which worker I'm going to go to. Well, we've only got one, so that's sort of redundant. Uh, uh, the image source, image resource. So for this particular task, the image resource will be 
Uh, <clears throat> let's call it BusyBox because we're just going to run a command. Uh, so it'll be BusyBox. I think we can just say BusyBox because it's one of the generic ones. Uh, the inputs will be. Uh, uh, I assume. Um, oops. Uh, so the inputs will be, in this case, pi image. And the outputs will be whatever we call them, uh, so let's call it uh, pi patched image. A script mob, but, uh, but explicit path and arms right here. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, so. We run, <clears throat> and now we provide it with uh, a path, <clears throat> which will be um, uh, we need to we need to get pi patch from somewhere. That could be another input, isn't it? Uh, okay, we'll do we'll that in a minute. Uh, uh, Relative to the initial working directory, set as the working directory when running the script. Uh, now we don't want to patch the image in place, so we do actually want to do a copy. Okay, so we could. Uh, okay, so we need to do a. Uh, we do another get, which will be for the pie patch. Uh, It should be trigger true as well. Oops, uh, finger trouble today. And we need a new resource, which will be uh, and it's time. 
type is going to be git and the source uh, now as long as we put it in a public repository hmm, we have to put it in a public repository aren't we so let's Uh, what have we got? It doesn't want to go in Docker, I suppose it can go in streams for now. And we've got Pi Builder, but Pi Builder doesn't include. Oh, it does include Patch Pi. Okay, so we just get that then. Uh, so that should do the trick. Um, so that should get that into Pi Patch, and then it's actually called Patch Pi, which is our program for patching. So what we want to run is Pi Patch, and uh, Patch underscore Pi. And what arguments do we need? Well, before we do any of that, uh, maybe uh, do I need to mention the inputs? Oh, that's an interesting question. Because what I want to do, uh, I don't want Patch Pi to do any copying around, but I do want to move it. So, uh, a task which will I don't know if this is the best way of doing this but or even if it's the right way of doing it uh, let's just do because all, all this wants to do is move it from Input. I mean, in actual fact, this is deeply inefficient. Mm, yeah, yeah, I don't want to do it this way. Mm. I, I don't want to do it that way. Um, that's a that's a horrible way of doing it. Uh, I'd be better off uh, modifying patch by at some point, I suppose, to allow it to do a copy. Uh, as one of its options. Um, so image file. Let's, uh, so image file is the first parameter. So we've got. Okay, and let's try and keep everything consistent. Um, so there's only one argument, and that is where the pi image is, and it is at pi image. Ah, now then, now we've got a problem because uh, we haven't standardized the thing being copied all we know is that it's pi image and we know it ends with img uh, 
we're going to have to do some more work on patch pie to allow it to find the bloody thing. Either that, or uh, well, if we do that, that will actually work. Uh, uh, no, it won't, because the thing we're getting is the zip file, so we've still got work to do. We're going to have to provide another script. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The best thing to do, I think, is <clears throat> having got this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got patch pie, which actually does the patching. Uh, and then what we want is we want a, a, a wrapper script. Okay, so so this actually wants to be um, copy and uh, not even copy is it? It's unzip and patch. Okay, so that will actually be another script. Uh, and the argument that goes into it will be pi image, uh, and it will, uh, and that's fine because we can use it as a directory. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, in fact, we might as well make it that it also will take an output directory, which will be pi patched image. Uh, uh, and if we supply it with a file name, it'll rename it as well. So file system dot image. Okay, so what we get out the other end is a standardized image file. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so we've got a bit of work to do now. Uh, because what we need to do, uh, we need to make some changes. Uh, we need to make some changes to um, <clears throat> yeah. What we need to do is over here. Oh, well, yeah, so we've got patch pie, which all it does is take an input file and patch it. That's clean, leave that. <clears throat> but in here, we also want to add uh, this unzip and patch that we've just created. And what that will do is it will take as its input either an explicitly named zip file or a directory. If it, if it gets a directory but no file, then it will just look for a zip file and assume that the first zip file it finds is the one it needs to unzip. Okay. And the second parameter will either be a directory or a file. If it's a directory only, uh, then it just unzips it to whatever name comes out. It takes whatever image or the first image, the first yeah the first image it finds, it will just take that. And it will then apply the patch pie to it. If, however, you've got a directory and a file name as your output, then it will unzip to that file name or unzip it and copy it or move it. Doesn't mean much, but move it. Um, yeah, so it will copy to, to unzip it and move it and then apply the patch to the resulting file. Yeah. Right. So rather cool. Yeah, that's rather neat because what, what it means is we don't even need to know the name of the unzipped image file until the very end. I guess. Hmm. There are some 
Yeah, there are some niceties to be observed there. Okay, uh, let's give that a go. So let's just. Uh, where are we? Um, uh, yeah, rather than working in this little tiny screen, let's just. Uh, Okay. Uh, right. Um, in actual fact, we really want to. Um, and it's this fella here, isn't it? Oh, we should be able to clone it. Okay. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is unzip and patch is going to be our new. It's going to basically be the thing that we'll eventually call this. So user bin bash user bin n bash and uh, what do I do it with? Well, it's bin but by mm. Set file to it equal to shell. Uh, our usual UO pipe file. Uh, I suppose just to be polite. Um, okay. Uh, that's the other thing I haven't got installed in here at the moment, isn't it? Uh, shell check. Uh, we're really going to have to set up a proper developer environment. Um, right, so what this does is it takes two inputs. So the first input... Uh, uh, the first input is... Um, the... Uh, yeah, so this will be the zip file, which is going to be equal to another uh, one, and the second thing will be our destination, which will equal to dollar. Now, the zip file, um, that might only be a directory. So, uh, what we do is test if it's a directory. Uh, um, zip file. So if it's a zip file, uh, and uh, what we want to do then is set the zip file to be equal to um, the first. Uh, 
Not sure this is the best way of doing this. I think that'll do what I want. That whole thing really must have been close on him. Yeah. Shell check save my bacon. Instead find and find by name. Uh, no, try that again. I find it in the zip file. We want the name. Uh, uh, dot zip. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Destination menus. Uh, can I get fine to return any one result? Hmm. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Too short. All right. Now that's returning the full path. That's okay. It's returning the full path relative to where I am now. Uh, and that's also okay. Because uh, if this were, say, that. Cool. Okay. Uh, now what happens if there's more than one match? Uh, so let's touch uh, a dot zip and b dot zip and then find the better put start dot Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if I just put that through hit one. That'll do. Uh, it's good enough for government work, isn't it? Uh, right, so that should get our zip file set correctly. Now the destination, uh, if it's a file, then we're done. Uh, if it's not a file, and what we're going to do is unzip, which raises the question, is unzip going to be available in BusyBox? Or are we going to have to create a special image?
that'll be a pain. Oh well. Uh, let's just assume we're unzipping the dollar zip file into destination. Is that, is that the way unzip works? Thing. You have to provide minus O then. No. Uh, minus D. Yeah, that's the one. Interesting. Okay. So, in actual fact, we want the destination, but we want the only the directory part. Ooh, which raises the question: Do we really want to do that right now? What we really want to do is roll that out to a temporary directory. Uh, and let's call that um, unzip and we'll do make directory okay Okay, so that's going to unzip it into the unzip directory. Uh, what we want then is the image file. Okay, so with the image file, we can use the same trick as we did before. Uh, We can do our job properly. Oh, come on, Mark, what are you doing wrong? Yank to the end of the line and then paste it. There we go. Uh, the only thing is, we don't want it to be the zip file. We want it to be slash temp slash unzipped. And the name we're looking for is img. Okay. Now we want to just move the img file. A destination. If the destination is provided as a file name, I'll rename it as we go. If it's just a directory name, then it will just copy whatever the image file is. Nice. Okay. And then, then we want to invoke uh, patch pi. It should be in our default directory. Uh, we want to invoke that on the destination. Mm, that won't work. <coughs> that won't work if destination is directory. 
because Patchwork is expecting a specific file. Mm. So what we're going to have to do is then mm. we're making a lot of assumptions here. Which are, I mean, they're reasonable assumptions in the context of what we're doing. But yeah, I mean, okay, what, what we ought to do is we ought to say if destination is a directory then destination should equal uh, destination with the file name taken from the image file which is the base name of we're going to get ourselves into trouble with quotes I suspect image Close brackets. Uh, does base name include? Oops. Yeah, takes off the suffix as well. Okay, don't really care because. We know that it's going to be ING. And that solves the problem. If we don't provide it with a file name, we just get the file name. There must be a better way of doing that. I mean, the other way I do it, it would be our pattern, wouldn't it? Oh, let's leave it like that. It'll be fine. Mm. Okay, let's go to. Mm. Alright, so we're logged into Vagrant there, but here we're not. Mm. when I do that. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, if I just go into my builder for now. And hmm, let's make directory TST, current directory to TST, and let's call, oh, is it out? Oops. 
Lowercase L. Ugh. I really ought to make a note of this, given how many times I've done it. Uh, copy that one to this. Um, Uncomfortable. I'm sorry, am I inconveniencing you? Okay, let's go up one level and Okay, um, okay, just to make this a little bit more accurate, let's uh, pull that test out. So we're going to unzip them back, uh, uh, from test and we're going to write it into test out. Uh, okay, let's do it with file name dot image. Not file name, we'll call it file system. Cannot access oh but no such file directory. What? Oh because I'm still chimbling. What kind of brain fart did I have there? Uh, here we go. Cannot find or open dot zip or dot zip. Hmm. Okay. That was evidently successful. Unzip patch, blah blah blah. Unzip cannot find or open. Mm. Uh. That was interesting, wasn't it? Right, so uh, what's happening? It's pitching. Uh, maybe my test isn't doing what it's supposed to. Oh, intended to. Oh, I didn't really want to quit that, did I? Never mind. Never mind. It's not the end of the world. Empty directory. That's hardly auspicious, is it? Uh, it's not looking recursively and even if it were what really it's named it According to the original, oh, I mean, this isn't going to happen in the final thing, is it? But it's an interesting problem. What happens if that happens? Mm. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to cheat for now. Uh, It 
does raise a point. Specifically, um, blah, blah, blah. okay, so it's at least writing it into answer. Okay, so the, the problem is this if there's a mistake made, I mean, it does fail, so I suppose that's expected behavior. Well, if you don't use a zip file, then you can hardly be expected to unzip it. And okay, patch by is now failing, but it is at least working on the correct. Good. Okay, so so test out. Okay, so all the important part worked. Uh, so if we just remove that, what happens? If instead of specifying test, I just specify directory. So it once again does the inflation. Now I'm expecting it to actually produce that 2020 blah 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 dot image. And ooh, it's doing da 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 dot image dot image. Hang on a minute. But the base name of that shouldn't include the extension. But it does. Mm. Okay. Well, there you go. What a dumbass. Learn how to read. Minus S removes it. <sighs> All right. Okay. Sorry, that's a fact. Uh, oh, actual fact. We don't need that last. Mm -hmm. Need to do that. Okay. I keep exiting. I don't know why. Should be a Raspberry Pi image, so why is it bitching about it? Huh? Good, F disk. Nice. Okay, so it's basically working. Uh, Now, uh, yeah, another thing to change. Right, so what we have actually done here is um, Uh, 
unzips it and runs patch pi on the result image. Not the greatest explanation, but it'll do. X. Yes, get status, and we're all clean again. And we do a push, and that is us up to date. Okay, so we've now got our own zip and patch, which means. Uh, Uh, we can go back into our our pipeline okay and this should now work because pi patch We'll get the patch and the unzip. I suppose if we want it to be absolutely certain, then I would do uh, TIR patch just to be sure. Um, I guess is that is that right for this? Uh, yeah, DIR. Cool. Okay, so that should uh, so the get there are two gets, one for pi image, one for pi patch. Uh, Uh, let's call it my patch tools so that we know where we're at. The task will be to patch the image and uh, this is my patch tools. Which come in. So we've now got Pi image and Pi patch tools coming in, and the output is the Pi patched image. Okay, and this is Pi patch uh, tools. This is that, and Pi image and Pi patched image are the input and the output respectively. I think. That's it for patching it at least. Uh, and I mean, yeah. I mean, if we we're going to be nice and neat and tidy, the Pi Builder would be broken up so that we've got different things. But having said that, the Pi Builder image, because patch relies on, oh, you dickhead. Because all, all of this relies on running in the context. Of this Docker file. Which was the whole point of this in the first place. Because uh, I think that Docker file 
install things. Uh, oh, no, not really. I oh, screwed that. But we, we may still need to produce a. Uh, we need. We may need to produce a separate thing because I don't think unzip is a standard on BusyBox. Uh, we can check that, I suppose. Uh, let's uh, go down here. We can do a Docker run on BusyBox. Just run. Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid of that. Hmm. Okay. So we would need to install Bash. So we can't just run it in BusyBox. Or we can run it in that in a Debian light, I suppose. Uh, what is it called? Debian Slim. Uh, uh, Buster Slim. Let's see whether that's got it. Debian. All access denied to the rules do not exist. Hmm. Got it. Right. Uh, so, is it unzip installed? No. Ass. Oh. <laughs> and this comes back to the fact that. In here, we're running it inside this provisioned vagrant file, and so really, we're going to need everything from here uh, where we installed unzip. Uh, we don't need those things, but we do need unzip. So, hmm. we're going to need to produce either a specialized container for it to use, or we're going to have to install unzip every time. Well, I suppose. That's a bit of a drag. I mean, it begs the question whether it's worthwhile rewriting that bash script. Uh, we can't. Okay, we can't rewrite patch pipe because it needs mount. And we know that. Uh, actually, BusyBox might, but Alpine certainly doesn't allow the mount. Mm -hmm. And we would need to run the image privileged. Oh, this is becoming more complicated, isn't it? So we need to run a privileged image. So let's just uh, make sure. In room, botched to slim. Uh, can, we, can we do that mount? Mm. Uh, do we have mount offset? We got options, so the answer is probably yes. Okay, so 
We've probably got the capacity we need within the Master Slim image. But we're going to have to build a special thing because we're going to need to install unzip and we don't want to install it every time. So, uh, instead of the image resource being a busy box, it's going to be, I don't know, uh, we can probably just make a utility thing, a uh, utility image, which will allow us to run all these various bits and bobs and we can just add to the utility image things like unzip and, and git and anything that we might need uh, that way we're not creating millions and millions of images uh, which may be a pain in the long run So instead of doing it with a busy box image, we're going to end up doing it with salty vagrant. Let's call it utils. Uh, mind you, uh, it's it's not easy. It's going to be a, a, a SV Docker, is it? We call it. Uh, Mind you, the actual uh, what it's called in here is largely irrelevant.
Yep, all right, you can sit down again now. Oh, settle down. Ooh. Yes, thank you. I don't really need a wash. Okay. Uh, all right, settle down. I can hear. Oh, maybe it's just this. Uh, maybe it's just that. Right. Uh, yes. So we need to create a uh, utils. Let's call it. Uh, ooh, CI utils. And that will end up as a Docker image. So we need to build one of those. Mm. Uh, so we're going to end up with another project uh, to build a, a utility image. Now it's a bit of a drag. Uh, I mean, these will just be to run basic tools in. So. Um, Oh, let's see if we can build a really tiny utils image using our point. Uh, so if I run just Alpine. Okay, so we do APK. So we can get unzip. Uh, well, we could install bash. Mm. Which would then allow us to run that script. Uh, the other thing that was stopping us was the mount. See, the mount was too limited. Uh, and that was the problem. That was why we couldn't run the pie patch in there. Because we needed to be able to mount with the offset. And Alpine has this minimal mount. But that doesn't stop it from being our utility of choice for doing things like unzipping. And if we look at... Uh, What was it called? Uh, not pi build, not pi builder. Oh, yeah, it was pi builder, wasn't it? Uh, and it was the unzip and patch. Now this script, I think, 
Uh, you see, the unzip. The unzip utility could be run in an Alpine image. But PatchPy can't. I said, what am I doing? My brains are leaking out of my ears because we've already we've already got it, haven't we? We've already got patch pie. Running in our pie builder. Alright, and pie builder already has a Docker file which we want to build the image. So all we need to do uh, and it builds uh, no, 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 we would need another image anyway to run patch pie, and it can't be alpine based, it has to be based on that Buster Slim, doesn't it? <clears throat> So patch by an unzip patch really have to run in their own image and the, the docker file this docker file it only lives in here because uh, we go on and do all this stuff okay but pi builder really only runs the, the queenview image Okay, so this uh, is all about running Queemu and, and putting in the SSH and the SCP and the drop pair key and all of that stuff for the SSH access. Okay, so two very different things, but the Docker file for creating the utility build, which one is where we run PyPatch and unzip patch rather than in the Vagrant. Mm -hmm. That has to be based on Buster Slim because we need Patch Pi to be able to run them out. So, uh, and because so that will actually appear in there, okay. But if we do uh, Yeah, so if we go uh, in here, we still need to have a special one because the Buster Slim doesn't have the unzip utility, even though it's got the correct stuff to run the rest of Pi Patch, I think. Uh, because Pi Patch. The one special thing we need is this mount offset. Everything else is pretty standard. Oh, orc, orc. Mm, does it? Does does this have orc in it? Uh, bearing in mind that we're in the wrong machine now. Uh, here we go. Demian Buster Slim. Does it have orc? Looks like it. Good. Okay, so it does have orc and show some of their standard. It's got mount and U mount, and of course it has bash as its standard script. Okay, so everything's okay. Uh, all we need to do is create this CI utils based on just a slim. But it needs unzip installed because the Buster Slim doesn't have unzip. I mean that still makes it a pretty hefty thing. But if we make it, if we make CI utils uh, fairly generic in the long run, it's worth the bigger download, I guess. Because, mm, like I said, the alternative is that every time we run up. The tasks image 
we end up adding in whatever utilities we need. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we were to make it CIU tools, it wouldn't actually be, it'd be called SP, uh, we'd put it in Docker, I guess. Uh, so it would it would be salty vagrant slash CIU tools, yes, because it's not it's got nothing to do with that and everything to do with this. Okay. Uh, let's call it CI dash U tools. So that's what we're going to work on next. Okay. Uh, uh, and I guess that needs to be a completely separate project. Thing. Come on. Uh, I suppose that's something else I need to sort out, isn't it? Right, well, right, anyway. Um, right. So, what I need to do is. Uh, create yet another project. Oh, actually, while we're here, and because this is not in a repository yet, Pi Pipe is a rubbish name, isn't it? What should we call it? Uh, let's be honest what we're doing. Right, pipe pipe mine. Good. Uh, and so over here, uh, we might as well uh, uh, should we stick it on the streams? Yeah. Okay. So, Let's uh, grab blank project and pipeline. Okay, so this will be um, pipeline and tasks for concourse pipeline for. Uh, Project and once more, we'll do the get the note. Seriously, don't bring like mush. Get add 
stop streaming. Do you still add the item sound? Here we go, set up string, that's what I meant. Every time I've done that in the past, just uh, get to commit. This is a bit shitty, but uh, uh, I'm not sure. Um, get to push. Now, a little. Okay, so uh, we want the CI, uh, so mid directory CI, uh, CI utils, and uh, And this is going to be a doc file, and we're going to base it on Debian uh, Buster Light. Is it, uh, is it, is it Buster Light? The only thing really because there's no default command to be run. Uh, we'll just do run uh, to get. Uh, I suppose actually. Hmm. I suppose that's it really, isn't it? Tag. I don't have a comment. I don't have a validation links in a dog of our path, blah blah blah, else, blah blah blah, blah dog of our process file or directory. And that's because I can't spell. Or I can't type.
Thanks a question. Boy. Really? All of that? 64. It's like 7 meg in the Buster Main AMD packages. You really need to flush that out there. Maybe intermediate container, 3C, blah, blah, blah. Right, so that should amount to nothing. And then we install arms it. So what the hell is causing that? such a big deployment? And then send it to the care of archives. Um, hmm. No. Oh. Uh, right. So, um, And of course we need, uh, right, so we've pushed our docker, uh, so we should see a new CIU tools. Mm -hmm. 
do. See your U tools. string specific but it is a docker all right so uh, let's do Right, so all that does at the moment is contain unzip, but over the coming weeks and months, no doubt that will get expanded. Right, okay, so we don't really need all of that anymore, but we'll leave it laying around just in case. So let's go back to our pipeline and let's see. Uh, right, so we've got our New resource time, which gets our URI, uh, and that is from our URI resource. Uh, we've got uh, the resource pi image, which gets, which is a type URI, which we've just defined, and that gets the source from the Raspberry IRS Lite. And we've got the pi patch tools, which is a Git resource, which it gets from GitLabs. Uh, which gets the pie builder, which gets pretty much everything we need. Then we start the real meat and potatoes. So we start with uh, this is going to be called the pie build, and we've got to get a pie image and get a pie patch tools, and then those two feed into the patch image file. Uh, which is based on the CI utils, uh, which is the image that contains unzip uh, and is based on, uh, yeah, okay, so then we take pi image and pi patch tools as inputs and we produce a pi patch image as outputs and we run well. We should find in pi patch tools as the unzip patch. We set the directory to pi patch tools that just makes sure that. It can find the patch and we give it the two arguments, blah blah blah. And so, in theory, that should do the job. Right, okay, let's give it a try. Now, then, pipelines, blah blah blah, blah, blah. tasks. Yep, okay, so we're going to pipelines. Now, then, we've got validate pipeline. Uh, so if we set the pipeline uh, we don't we don't have any variables so uh, okay so let's try and validate uh, fly should be installed already so validate pipeline 
Oh, no, I don't have one. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. Error unlocks in JSON. Uh, unlocks on string in Go structure field test config. Oh, my plan. Jobs plan config image resource of type. Well, it's just meaningless, isn't it? Uh, Okay, let's see if we can make head notes out of this. Uh, jobs plan config image resource. Jobs plan. Well, that config is part of task, isn't it? Image resource. Uh, okay. So the task. Uh, image resource. Contain the image to run with as provided by an anonymous resource definition. Uh, What's wrong with that? Oh, it needs to be the full wings, does it? Oh, blimey, does it need a check and a... What? It does, doesn't it? Hmm, that sucks. Because it means a bit more work. CIU tools has got to also... That's a bit more tricky. Well, it, it can't run. No, it can't, it can't run because it, it, it's not. No, 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 no. So, uh, the type. Be registry image and the source will be a repository something there. Let's see. All right. Okay. Config input. All right, okay. Mm. Well, I suppose we've moved on. So now its problem is with my inputs definition. Uh, the set of artifacts used by the test to which artifacts blah blah blah. I get steps. Right, okay, so. Uh, okay. Uh, do I need to provide? Really? 
do I need to actually say is inputs uh, Okay. See what happens. Okay, so I have to get oh come on. Set pipeline. is coming in, Pi backstore is coming in, and Pi build, we've got no output. Now is that just because nothing uses the Pi out the output? I kind of have hoped. On pause is it? No builds for your pie build. Okay, let's run one manually. Mm -hmm. We're doing cool. Okay, I mean, at least we got something. So, pie image didn't get anything. Uh, JQ error cannot index object with number. Okay. What was going on there? Sorry. Take a look at our pipeline. My image. Uh, it looks like there's a defect with our URI resource. That sucks. Mm 
Uh, right. Now, interestingly, we didn't get anything from a pipe patch doll either. Or at least, well, that. that uh, what does that mean? Uh, fine. Uh, checked successfully and it got this reference. I suppose that means it was successful. The so pie image. So the problem is that uh, what was it? Right, so cannot index object with number mm -hmm. okay uh, now uh, that wasn't in the check was it so uh, maybe it was uh, let's go to So we've got the full URI, so checking was successful, it was the in which failed. So there's our in. And that is where it failed, I guess. Is a version was an object, not array, which is interesting because I thought version was maybe version's the only one. So let's have a look. Uh, if we go to resource types and implementing a resource type. In fetch a given resource, da, 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 da. is the same type of value passed to check and specifies the version to check. Ah, right, okay, so it's always a okay, so it's the version, right? Okay, that makes sense. So that uh, uh, so we need to. When I tested it, I assumed there was going to be an array, and there isn't. It's just an object. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I, why am I bothering with that? So, uh, I'm not going to add it just yet, because first I'm going to, oops, uh, first I'm going to, hello, and uh, go to your resources. And we're going to do a docker build some vagrant slash URI resource again with a forgetting a minus T. Uh, uh, minus T. And 
smash that. Slot payment slash URI users. This means uh, we don't actually need to. Let me just reboot it now. Looks more promising, doesn't it? Got new URI resources. It's downloading the zip file. Unexpected when posing resource response. Ah, my in obviously is supposed to return something. So what is it supposed to return? Evidently not reading the rules. And output. Uh, upon receiving this payload, the get resource would probably do something like blah 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 blah. Uh, request is on a exit and error. Let's be able to place it in a given directory. Configured uh, source resource measure must emit the fetched version and may emit metadata. Uh, honestly, seriously, dude. This is the did, did not read problem, isn't it? No. Okay, well, if it made it this far, if it made it this far, then it should. Just be able to output the payload. Uh, now it should output the payload to what? D three. Right, this is where an example would help, isn't it? Um Okay, so we go to resource type uh, artifactory was as good as any one. So go to the in script and what does it do? Uh, all right, that's not what you do standard error. And that is outputting to three. So we're going to uh, suppose uh, if we want to be complete, and the output to uh, I 
suppose to just output the payload because if we've got it, we've got it. There's nothing else to add really, is there? And we output that to three. I guess. Let's rebuild that. Do the push again. And I'll try this build again, I suppose. Right. How are you doing, mister? Oh, nearly. Nearly time for your dinner, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Uh, we've been coming home for two and a half hours. Yeah, it's not a bad session. Mm -hmm. Not a bad session. Mm -hmm. We'll start doing properly scheduled ones soon, and we'll get that developer box on the run. Yes. Oh, bugger. Ah, obviously, taking payload at face value into JQ sucks. Unexpected slash, expected end. Uh, right, okay, well, let's have a look. Uh, what have I done wrong? Uh, mm. Oh, you f idiot. You idiot, you can't just do that, that's just, that's just the name of the file. Okay, right, okay, so we want to output an object with the version equal to uh, URI. Now I think JQ will fix up all of the garbage in there, but uh, failing that, I'm going to put quotes around it. Um, do I actually have JQ installed on this machine? <sighs> Typical. Okay, well, in that case, I can go over there. Yeah. Oh, I know it's on my Mac. Right. So, JQ minus N version clone HTTP colon. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Blah, 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 blah. Does that tidy things up? Uh, no. And that is because that really does have to be in quotes, which means if you're gonna put okay, well, I suppose that makes sense. So this is gonna be have to be in uh, quotes. Oops. Hmm. If I had any sense, I'll just test that. No, I don't have any sense. 
it only takes a few seconds, so it's not exactly a hardship. And once it's finished pushing it, doo -doo. Dump. All right. It didn't download. I like these ones. Stop that. I don't think it was a bit previous. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm a bit worried. I didn't get the latest version. No, oh, let's see what happens. I'm still doing it. Okay, I'm not sure why, but for some reason it's decided not to get that. So if we just do a complete reset on that, it's just re-upload the pipeline uh, yeah. well of course it can't because you downloaded the latest so why is it not doing that nope still doing it so uh, how do I reset this so that it gets I did actually I did actually do the build and push properly didn't I? Did I push it? Yeah I did push it. So there's definitely a new image in there. So why? For some reason it's not getting Cannot on Marshall string. Well, of course you can't because. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's getting the correct response this time. Right, okay, so. Why can't it. unmarshal that? Okay. Version colon. Oh. 
I don't know. this time, you think? Mm, what do you reckon? Think it worked? Or was it a bit previous? I think I think you got a digest back. I think, I think we're good. Good talking. Uh, you're happy as long as you get a belly rub, aren't you? And no, obviously was a bit too quick. What do you reckon? Three times a week? Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Do it in the afternoon? Two to four plus? Mind you, you want your dinner at four, aren't you? Oh, hello. Ooh! Kenny, it worked. Now yeah, then, what's happening here? Boom. Oh, well, I suppose we're one, one step forward. Uh, right, container, starting the container process caused exec my patch tool unzip patch. My patch tools uh, unzip patch, no such file or directory. Um, okay. Now I thought all the inputs were just named. Uh, they were just direct. Uh, maybe they're, they're in special directories. Uh, I really ought to have checked, didn't I? Uh, so inputs. The path where the input will be placed. If not specified, the input's name is used. Relative to the working directory of the task. Ah. Now then. I changed the, didn't I? Because mm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, anyway, uh, that seems to have fixed that, so let's, uh, let's make sure we get those in. Uh, so, git commit minus m corrections to in uh, to 
Okay. Does it mean relative to the task directory? Uh, the working directory of the task. Okay, which is set by what? I suppose it's set by the enclosing container which would mean that those directories were actually correct but that doesn't make any sense okay what about the run path is that also uh, Explicit path, I'm going to write path, file path. The name of the path is relative to the working directory. Uh, if do is specified to set the working directory, then that's the point. I have set the path, which means that, that everything is what? Mm, that's a really bad idea, Mark. Okay, let's just let's just try that. I've obviously left the set X in there. That's okay because uh... Oh god error. Interesting. Ah, that's because, okay, right, so we need to, uh, we need to do the usual capture, do we? Right. Okay, so, uh, mm, uh, okay, that's just carelessness on my part, wasn't it? Shall I leave that in for now? No, let's get rid of that. 
Uh, here's that is what we need. Because uh, that gives me the actual directory. And then. And that's because we're not really privileged. Right, so I need to edit the pipeline. Uh, uh, and the task. Now I think it goes in the task comp, doesn't it? Blah, 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 blah. Now, does it do it in? Does it go into the? Hmm. hmm. Does it get run as part of the resource? Uh, uh, no, that can't be right, can it? Uh,
So it looks like I can just put it in here. Uh, does that mean I have to say it in a week of time? Oh, come on! You tell me I can't run. That's pain. Okay, I'm gonna take a break, feed the dog, take it for a walk. <laughs> 